Welcome back everyone. Back with another Fuller's review. They sent me out some beers to review before the big royal wedding that's happening the day after I shoot this video. So I don't know when these will go up, probably the week after. But Fuller sent me their ESB, the first ESB, if you will. The first beer that had, was called Extra Special Bitter. It's 5.9%. Um, I took a break from reviewing London Pride, now I'm back at doing ESB. Um, I have had this more recently than Run London Pride, at least in the States, but I did get the chance to have it on cask when I was visiting London. So it pours out uh, copper in color, it's darker than London Pride. The head color on there is uh, probably about the same as off-white head. Yeah, you smell that Fuller's yeast right away. I always pick it up. I always associate it with like an orangey marmalade, stone fruit type of character. And you get some uh, caramel in there, some biscuit malt. So I mean, it's it's probably a pretty similar malt bill to the London Pride. It's kind of ramped up. They love to do the um, party guy style brewing there, where you do different strengths and then you blend in those batches, uh, like do a high gravity beer, blend in low gravity beer, or take the low gravity beer second runnings and then add it back in high gravity beer. I think they're still doing that over at Fuller's, if I'm not mistaken. Hops profile is pretty similar. Some earthy, less hops. I don't think this is maybe as fresh an example as the London Pride. I think that might have been fresher. Yeah, this one's showing a little bit of an age character, but it's still good. I sort of get that, like, it's a little more caramelly on the finish with a little less, like, hot presence uh, to kind of help round it out. But it's good. It's got the, um, a little more toffee character. She's got your, like, bready biscuity, a little bit of toffee. All that yeast character coming through, that kind of orangey, marmalade stone fruit character, all those yeast esters. The finish isn't quite as dry. I'm still getting some earthy hops on the finish, but maybe not quite as crisp if it was uh, really fresh. So. Um, Still great to try these two classic beers back to back to see what the profiles are. Uh, there's a lot of similarities to them, um, but this one being higher gravity, there's a bit more, bit more body to it. A little more of a toffee note to it. But yeah, this is a legendary beer. Great beer. Uh, makes me want to brew an ESB because. Um, I don't think I've ever brewed a proper ESB, and this set the standard way back in the day. So definitely go check out Fuller's ESB. It's an all-time classic. Until next time, cheers.